Oh, morning all, Pete Turner here from Turnaround Limited. We're Sheffield Property Developers. Um, I thought I'd give you a quick update because I've been so busy the last couple of weeks, I haven't really done a lot of YouTube. I've just done two quick updates on timer stats and various other things. Um, so some good news, we completed on the house in Chesterfield on Friday, and uh, that's for Michael Ball. It's a one bed to two bed terrace conversion uh, we bought it for 90,000 cash uh, we were talking to the neighbor yesterday and they think that the house will be worth about 150 uh, when it's done we're going to spend around 15 grand on the refurb it needs full damp proofing on the lower floor and then it needs new walls um, put in together um, for the bathroom to make a new bedroom to make it a two bed terrace instead of a one bed terrace um so we've forwarded the kitchen from howden's that's going in on the 14th of november week we've ordered the we're in the middle of ordering the new plum world kitchen that arrives around the 18th of november ready to go in the following week um it's a funny little house because um because it was made into a one bed with a big bathroom we're going to have to put the bad bathtub half into a cupboard uh, to make the bathroom functional and upstairs uh, but it'll be a, an interesting little project I'm sure Craig will go have a bit of an ape fit um, when he sees what I'm planning um, the plasterers and Craig have both come down with Covid in the last few weeks they're a bit behind on their other work but thankfully because they work for me a lot they've prioritised my work so that's great so Craig's there tomorrow um, he's knocking off all the walls downstairs to a meter ready for the damp proofing to go in. We're using Sovereign uh, for the damp proofing downstairs. I'll give you a little bit of a tour when I'm at the house tomorrow. Um, so numbers on that, 90,000, 15 refurb, uh, 140 to 150 reval. Um, Michael's probably going to sell that house to flip it so he doesn't have to use mortgages, which are stupid at the moment, 6% plus. Uh, so if we can flip that one, should make between 20 to 35 grand profit uh, over a 12-week period on the project. So that goes ahead tomorrow. Um, the Pontefract house will finish around about the 14th of November, ready for the carpets. And I'm up there this week just snagging with the decorator uh, to make sure that all finishes nice because... Um, yeah, he's kind of a part-time decorator guy. I'm not sure he's uh, it's his full-time job. Um, the carpets go in there on the 14th and it'll be on the market ready for the end of November, no doubt. Uh, we're just finishing the snagging on there. Again, I'll do a video for that once the carpets have gone in in a week. Uh, Deli's house is now finished and the carpets go in on Thursday. I'm just back at the house today to finish off the snagging. Uh, there, um, Deli came up with his lovely wife to to talk us through what needed to be done to finish that. So we're I'm up there this morning, just finishing off, ready for the carpets. And don't really like doing any painting after the carpets in for obvious reasons. So again, I'll do you a video on Friday of that house that's completed. It's one of the most beautiful ones we've done. And I'm really proud of it. So I'll be showcasing that on the website, no doubt. And uh, I think Delhi's pretty happy. He's in a bit of a conundrum now as to whether he should sell it for between 140 150 or whether he should rent it for 800 a month. Um, but we've probably got about 120 in that house, I guess. I think it was 105 plus 12, so maybe 117 uh, 119 after the deal sourcing fees, maybe. Um, but yeah, it's a decent 20 grand plus profit in a 12 week period. Um, what else have we got on? I just accepted another offer on Dodworth Road for cash. That's to going to a care company. So I'm moving the legals through on that one. I'm going to try and get it done super fast. Hopefully we'll get it done in five weeks like we've done these other cash purchases. Um, and then I'm waiting for another offer on Parker Street to get that one finished but Dodworth really is the main one I've got a bit of money tied up in that maybe seven and a half grand tied up in Dodworth at the moment so once we get that back that'll be happier days and the profit on that one for me is about 20 grand um 
once that's done i'll be looking for another house for me <clears throat> uh, so we'll have a bit of money in the bank then ready for my next house we'll be using the pension to uh, to look for that one and maybe using some of the jv partners i've got in the wings that have got between 15 and 20 grand on that one so that we can get the refurb done but, um, i much prefer doing my own houses um although it's really great working with investors um but if i can get um if i can get my whole own houses through then that's more money for me really but, uh, i do like working with michael and deli and and peter um on their houses as well so it's been a really good career swap um so that's great um what else have i got on so yeah that's dodworth offered parker streets on the market ready for an offer pontifract carpets going in on the 14th and anston carpets going in on thursday and the house in chesterfield is going ahead tomorrow with all the fitting so that's all the updates from turnaround <clears throat> I managed to, we evicted a tenant out of our Rotherham HMO, um, hadn't paid the rent for months and um, unfortunately he had life controlling issues so I feel bad for the guy, um, did cost me a bit of money but I think you have to see some of these sort of things as ministry and helping people out really um, so it's always wise to be compassionate and talk to the tenants had a further incident where we were going to evict through the courts another guy from my Barnsley house. Uh, turns out that the benefits agency misunderstood his circumstances and um, we managed to get hold of a, a homelessness risk advisor from the council in Barnsley to go and see this guy. And she's managed to sort everything out with the benefits agency and fill new forms in. So sometimes it's better to talk to people than it is to go through the courts on eviction. I'm hoping that once this guy gets back on his feet, he'll be a good tenant. And I'm sure he'll appreciate what we've done for him. Uh, but even if he doesn't, it's a bit of a ministry. And, you know, sometimes you've got to look after people. And it's more important than the money at times. So there you go, that's the updates from Turnaround. I hope you're all well. If you need any help from me, let me know. And um, I'll catch up with you next time. Just ask any questions that you'd like to answer in the, in the comments below. Please subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to get up to 200. And um, yeah, probably time you turn around your property life. Speak soon, bye.